Paige John here from GPS Training. Welcome to the latest edition of FAQs. In this series of videos, I answer the most freaking asked questions we get asked about specific subjects. This time, it's quite a big subject, which is the Motorola Defy Satellite Link. Or should we call it the Bullet? Or should we call it the RDC2023 Limited? which is the name now the company is called. So which questions are I going to answer in this series of FAQs is, will the existing Motorola Defy satellite link continue to work? What will happen when your current contract runs out? Question number three is, will live tracking be introduced in the future as it was originally planned? And the final question would be, if I buy a new Motorola Defy satellite link, can I activate it and use it? Now a quick intro before I answer those four questions is, it's the first time I publicly on YouTube to discuss this subject. If people listen to GPS training podcast, we've just dis discussed it extensively on that in our newsletter, we we've also um, discussed it. There's also a article on our website. The reason is that we've not discussed it is we've got a great relationship or we had a great relationship with Bullet and we know a number of their staff. And we thought after they'd lost, them, lost their, their jobs, it was the honourable thing not to speculate without uh, knowing the fact. Our contact at Bullet, as it was, went quiet. We'd had a few conversations right at the start of when they first went into administration. Um, this gentleman went quiet, and we thought best not to speculate on what the people are saying online. Let's wait and see what happens. And our contact is now employed by RCD, RDC 2023 Limited, which is a new company that's taken over all the existing contracts. And we've had a good conversation with him. So now I feel confident we've got the facts to move forward and not speculate, but give you the true information about what is happening uh, going uh, forward. Um, so RDC 2023, let's quickly um, go over what is this. This is, um, if people don't know, Bullet, um, manufactured the uh, Motorola device up like link. They had the contracts and they went into administration. Uh, RDC um, Limited bought uh, a number of things on the 12th of March 2024, which are things like Goodwill, Goodwill including IPR, business name, brands, and websites, the BSS software, which is what it runs from, the apps, both Android and, um, and uh, iOS, um, domains, customer database, etc., etc. I'll put a, I'll put a link below into exactly what they bought. We got this from the statement of administration, uh, which is what happens in the UK when a, a business goes into administration. They have to list what has been sold and the assets that have been sold, and they bought this for a reasonable amount of money. This asset, so they can move forward with the business. So the key thing is, since they went into administration, the services continue to you, the customer. The, the product, the Motorola Defy Satellite Link, has worked on existing contracts. And that, we were originally told, was funded by uh, the original directors who have paid for that going forward. Okay, to answer the four key questions is, will your existing Motorola Defy Satellite Link continue to work? So, as this business have taken over um, all the existing contracts, this has never ceased uh, to work and it will continue. Again, a lot of people weren't even aware that anything has gone on and they've just continued using it with no problems and that will continue in the future. Next thing is what will happen when your current contract finishes? Now for our customer, our own customers, we started selling this at the end of uh, June last year. So most of the um, products were sold with a contract in the box. This was the most appealing thing about it. You can just activate it, choose what contract you want to go on, and off you went and started using it. When these contracts finish, which more than likely the end of June or when, whenever yours will, you have to roll on to a new contract. So really, the statement that came from RDC was, from um, as part of the, our investment, RDC is very pleased to confirm that we will honor the service agreement and data plans for the thousands of existing customers who signed up on the, up to the Bullet Satellite Messenger service prior to April the 3rd, 2024. When these contracts expire, 
you will have to sign up to a new contract. So these are the contract prices. I'll put, a, um, I'll put some notes on the screen uh, rather than just me reading it. So £4.99 a month just for SOS only. £9.99 a month for SOS and 80 messages per month. £29.99 per month for SOS and 300 messages a month or £59.99 a year for 250 messages a year. This was always a very appealing contract uh, for the Motorola Defy satellite link where you could get 250 messages and use them as you wanted for the year. The, always the question was what will happen when you use, those, use up all those 250 messages. What they've said now is you would be able to buy another bolt-on which will be new 250 messages. So it's, so it's famous pay as you go. Buy 250 50 messages, use them when you've used them, buy another 250 messages. If you don't use those 250 messages within a year, you will get billed another £59.99 and given another. Um, another 250 messages. May I say these are just messages that are sent via the satellite, they're not messages that are sent via the mobile phone network, because again, it is one of these um, uh, hybrid devices. If it's got a mobile phone network, you don't pay because you use your data. Alternatively, you don't send it via the satellite. And when I'm talking about 80 messages a month, um, uh, 300 messages a month, I'm talking about satellite messages. But the key thing that's changed now is there is a disclaimer which says messaging plans are based on bytes of data rather than message counts. Any reference to a number of messages per plan featured in marketing is purely illustrative. Shorter messages that use smaller amounts of data allow messaging to be maximized or satellite data transmissions use up satellite data at a minimum of 50 bytes, including sending and receiving messages and delivery receipts, excluding SOS messages. So what they're saying is, if you type long messages, it will use more than one of your message count. So that'll be interesting to see going forward how that works. So the key thing is, if you're an existing contract, this will continue. When your contract finishes, there are some new contracts you sign up for. I know a number of people being online said, actually, it's more expensive. Yeah, it's near enough double the price of what you were playing before. But as I discussed later on, it is significantly cheaper than the competitors in the marketplace. So the next question we're going to answer is, will live tracking be introduced in the, in the future as originally planned? My contact is saying yes it is. As you know, may know here at GPS Training, before the company went into administration, we were actually beta testing the live, te uh, the live tracking. So live tracking so other people can see where you are when you're out walking. This was working really well and we, actually it wasn't far off being launched when um, Bullet sadly went into administration. This is going to be rolled out again uh, going forward. We've not got a time scale for this, but at the moment you're just going to be able to send and receive messages. But going forward, there will be live tracking coming on board for the Motorola Defy uh, satellite link. And the fourth question is, if you buy a Motorola Defy satellite link as of today, can you activate it and use it? It's quite an interesting subject this really, because the, the actual puck that we're talking about was produced by Bullet. That business has gone into administration. The new business, RDC, um, are saying that they're not gonna produce hardware. They're just going to operate the software. And I suspect what they're hoping to do is sell that technology to other manufacturer providers, whether hardware providers, mobile phone providers, etc., etc. But I think going forward, they're looking at more to sending it into um, the, um, the wholesale market um, and also businesses, etc., who are buying large amounts rather than selling retail. But if you buy one of the existing Motorola Defy satellite links that are um, you can still buy online from ourselves from other retailers, you can actually activate them. You can activate them and utilize the features. Now, the key thing is a lot of these. Um, Motorola Defy satellite links had a contract in the box as such, which is what the big appeal, and this is why there's so many, so many of them. But now that is invalid because that business has actually gone bankrupt. So if you buy a new Motorola Defy satellite link, you can activate it, but you will go straight onto one of the new contracts that we've just discussed. So um, a basic package, no, £9.99 a month, is still very cheap compared to um, its competitors. Um, that are currently on the market. So again, have, have a look at it. I'm not saying one's right or one's wrong uh, because they are very different. The Motorola Defy is very different. The Motorola Defy satellite link, sorry, is very different than other competitors in the marketplace, but it's still very cheap 
compared to the other options on the market. Okay, I very much hope this has helped. It's been quite an interesting FAQs uh, to go through with you. If you've got any thoughts or feedback, please leave a comment in the comment box below, especially if there's anything you think I've missed or you can add to help other users who have got the device or are thinking about buying the device. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the GPS uh, training YouTube channel. And as I said, um, we've discussed this subject at length in our podcast. So if you've not listened to our podcast, please do. Again, we've discussed this at length and I've done an article in our newsletter, which goes out every Friday, 11.45. Um, so again, if you've not signed up to the newsletter, I'll leave a link uh, down there below. And again, many thanks um, from everybody um, here at GPS Trade, not just myself, because it has been quite a long ordeal. Our customers have been absolutely superb during that. I've had a number of conversations with people, but considering all the... Um, uh, I'm going to say trauma is maybe the wrong word. Every, everybody's gone through because there's been staff. I suppose trauma is the right word because the staff we made redundant, business have been restructured, etc., etc. You know, people have been very um, honourable and honest and kind, which is what we all need in them. So again, I hope this is very uh, has helped in, uh, in in some way. Please leave a comment in the comment box below. If you're not already subscribed, please do. And again, hopefully. Uh, you'll listen to some of the videos that I've done both on the Motorola Defy satellite link because again I actually um, it's quite an interesting thing really before this was launched I kind of thought this is too good to be true so I actually did a seven hour round trip to meet with the guys from Bullet to to see the product working um, and I suppose in hindsight it was too big <laughs> too good to be true uh, but again it's been a hell of a journey working with the guys with this great piece of technology which is affordable and uh, hopefully keeps people safe when they're out in the hills. And as always, many thanks for watching.